YouTube, this is Gracie and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very different from any other video I've ever done before and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. I just recently restarted my channel and I'm trying to grow my community of people who love Disney, Harry Potter, DIYs, crafts, card making, all kinds of things. So I hope you guys come along on my journey. Today's video, like I said, is going to be very different. I know there's a lot of videos out there of people showing off their Disney collections, and I'm going to do a version of that. People show off their Disney Funko Pops, their figurines, their lounge fly bags, but I thought I'd show you guys my collection of apparel and accessories from a company called Cakeworthy. Now, Cakeworthy was created by a lovely lady named Leslie Kay, who started the whole Disney bounding phenomena, and I love this company. I am literally obsessed. I have probably too much of their apparel and accessories, but I can't stop myself. I'm addicted. <laughs> and I've started this collection and I've kept it growing for years. So I thought I'd show you guys a few items from that. Um, my first purchase from them, my favorite purchase from them, the accessories that they have, and a little like montage of all of the flannels and stuff that I that I have from them. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. So the very first purchase I ever made on the Cakeworthy website is this flannel here and it is styled after Peter Pan. On the back side it says second star to the right and this was my very first purchase. I love it so much that recently when they came out with another Peter Pan slash Tinkerbell flannel I had to get it. So I have this one also and it says second star to the right on the front but on the I mean on the back but on the front it has new embroidery and a new pocket which is a recent addition to their collection they just started putting pockets which is great um, but it has the second star to the right embroidered on the collar and then Tinkerbell in the pocket and it's so cute my favorite flannel that I've ever purchased from Cake Worthy is this one right here and it is styled after Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean it's one of his sayings sticks and stones love and I love it so much it goes with almost anything the color scheme is great it's nice and oversized so you can be really comfy in it but yeah this is my all-time favorite now my most recent purchase was this flannel here and it is styled after the movie elf it has the little icon down here and then it has his little hat up here and then on the back it's the best part it says I'm a cotton headed ninny muggins and it's so cute. It's great for Christmas. I'm excited to wear it tomorrow, the day after, day after that, who cares? But it also makes a really nice gift. So if you need a present for someone after Christmas, this would be my recommendation. OMG, are you kidding me? Look at the back. Oh my God, and Nanny. Mini Muggins. Mini Muggins. <laughs> I'm a cotton-headed ninny muggins. Oh, I love it! I know what I'm wearing tomorrow. <laughs> you like it? I love it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I can wear this all year long though, right? Yeah. It's not that Christmassy. So I thought I would include an honorable mention by showing you guys this flannel right here. And it is the softest flannel I have ever purchased from Cakeworthy. I highly recommend it. They come in all the different houses. And then on the back, it has the crest for each house on the back. On the front, you have your little house animal. So obviously for Hufflepuffs, it's a badger. And then on this side, it says Hufflepuff. And on the pocket, it says Hogwarts, and it's got the Hogwarts crest on there. I thought I'd mention it because it is so soft and I love it so much. So if you need something Harry Potter related, this is the way to go. These are my cake worthy bags. And as you can see, I only have a couple. So I treat these really, really well. I don't use them very often because I'm afraid of getting them dirty, but I thought I'd show you guys. This is my Cinderella bag. It's really, really nice. It has embroidery over all of the design work on the front. And on the back, it's really glittery and sparkly and beautiful. And on the inside, in the lining, it has comic book strip of the whole story. So this one's my favorite. Cinderella is actually my favorite princess, so I had to get that one. 
The next one I have is this one here, styled obviously after Nightmare Before Christmas, one of the presents. And on the inside, it has the tag shaped like a coffin. Hopefully you can see that, there you go. And then on the fabric lining, it is black and purple swirls. This one's really cute, I love that one a lot. Then I was also gifted this one. It is Harry Potter themed, or branded actually. And I got it with my um, Hufflepuff flannel. So this one's really cool, I love this tote a lot. I have a small collection of their hats, and this one here was my very first one I ever got. It is a Captain Hook hat, and you can see here it's embroidered completely um, with his name, his hook, and the bill is actually a faux leather crocodile print on there, and then on the side it is embroidered with his feather, and the whole thing is maroon. It is more of like a uh, snapback dad hat whatever style you want to call that, and I love it. This is actually the hat I wore in my last video I uploaded of me making a Disney card in Disneyland. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a little tag up here. Um, but yeah, this was my very first one. The next hat I got was this one here. It is styled after Jack Sparrow, again from Pirates of the Caribbean. And it has kind of like a mixture of his tattoo that's on his arm. Um, but also it has his little saying that is also on the flannel shirt that I showed you guys. Again, just very simple snapback dad hat. Very cute. The next one I got is this one here. And I have two of them. <laughs> I had originally intended to gift this to someone for Christmas, but that never worked out. So they're both mine. <laughs> it is a corduroy hat. Again, styled after Nightmare Before Christmas. And on the inside of the bill, it has Jack's little hand here holding a snowflake and some little like retro squiggly triangles, almost like 80s style around that. And then it says, what's this along the inside of the ribs, I guess, of ribs of a hat. I don't know, whatever that's called. Um, but yeah, I really like this hat. It's really good and cozy for like fall or winter time. The next one I have is this one here, and it is the Quest hat, I guess you could say, for the movie Onward. So this is the hat. This is actually the hat that the dad wears in the movie, and I just really liked the color. I thought it was really different and cool, and I don't know, green's kind of like my new favorite color this year. Lastly, this is my newest purchase. <laughs> Um, it is a Peter Pan hat, and I had to get it because it was on sale, and I never bought this one. I only had the Captain Hook one, so I had to have the pair, so when my mom and I go to Disneyland, we can wear matching outfits, and one of us can be Peter, and one of us can be Captain Hook. So it has embroidered um, little, and actually it's kind of like a velvet, or like a suede almost, on there, embroidered on the edges, his little feather. And then on the back, it has a red strap, which again, it is also, I just now am noticing that, more of like a suede or velvet. Um, on the bottom here, it is a navy blue with, I think, gold. Yeah, gold writing. And it says, second star to the right and straight on till morning. And it's got the second star to the right right here. It is real cute. I love that it's a solid color, so you could wear this with more outfits. Um, just a little pop of red makes it very exciting. And this is also great for Christmas time because it's red and green, so why not, right? So those are my hats from Cakeworthy. I also have a couple of their denim jackets. Now, I kicked myself for not buying their royalty jacket with all the princesses on the back, so I jumped on the next opportunity I got for this jacket right here. It is their Haunted Mansion jacket. It's on black denim, has little eyes embroidered on the collar, it also has the gargoyle uh, candle holder or candelabra, whatever you'd like to call it, on the sleeve, which is really cool. And then on the back, it says Disney's The Haunted Mansion with Madame Leota in her crystal ball and her little saying around her. And it's just so pretty. I love it. So I definitely bought this like right away. I did not want to pass up this opportunity. I love this jacket. Now the next one I have is the, my most favorite one to wear because it is the softest denim and I didn't even have to break it in. It's just, it, it molds to your body. I love it so much. It is a Star Wars jacket. It has the Imperial crest on the little collar here. It has the Death Star 
fully embroidered on the sleeve and then on the back it has two stormtroopers and Darth Vader and Star Wars across the shoulders. This jacket, I swear, I've worn this so much because it's so comfortable and lightweight, but also it keeps you really warm. So I love these jackets. This is my pin collection that I have from them. I have their original pins here and here of the Poison Cherry and Poison Pizza. I also have the matching patch here. Then I have this one here, the Space Ranger one for Toy Story's Buzz Lightyear. I also have the uh, Ninja Turtle pizza box here, which is super cute. I've grown up on Ninja Turtle, so I had to get that one. I also have the Ghostbuster pin there, and then these two down here uh, from Hocus Pocus, the black flame candle and the tombstone there. So these are my pins from Cakeworthy. <laughs>